This is how to create a catalogue in InDesign uh, using consonants to generate onyx and then importing the onyx XML into InDesign. So the first thing we're going to do is get the list of products that we're interested in putting into a catalogue. Here is 15. I am going to add those to an onyx batch. So I'm going to create a new onyx batch. I'm going to call it catalog imaginatively and I'm going to make it um, relevant to my own personal transfer template rather than a, an external third party. Uh, that export batch has been created now. I can gather that data together uh, and in a moment I will be able to generate a file. Create that file now and there it's running. Now whilst that's happening I will do the same sort of thing for the images. So I'm going to find those same image, uh, products again. I am going to this time add them to a batch. Create a batch. Uh, again imagination has failed me so I'm going to call it catalogue. I'm going to go to that batch and I'm going to get the covers for those products in a particular format. I'm interested in having them named as the ISBN.jpg because then InDesign is going to be able to um, find them easily. And I'm going to have them as quite a large height. Okay, our images and our onyx is ready to download. I can get my uh, onyx file from here. So I'm gonna uh, save the link as um, the file that, that's there. Save that. You can tell I've done this earlier. And I'm going to save the assets as well. And those are going to download to my desktop. There they are. And they're all named with the ISBN13.jpg so that InDesign can find them. So now I'm going to move over to InDesign. And here I've got a template ready to go. And you can see I've got one page with some placeholder data that's there at the moment. But this data isn't just typed into InDesign. If we look at the edit view in, in closer detail, you can see that there are some colourful tags that are uh, tagging up this placeholder text and it's much easier to see in the story editor. So hit command and Y or edit in story editor and you can see that the, the placeholder data is surrounded by tags. Um, the whole lot is wrapped in this BK tag and then each book is going to be wrapped in the book tag. Uh, and it contains data such as a title, the author, the blurb. And what we're going to do is use something called XSLT to take our rather verbose onyx message and turn it into something a bit neater uh, like this. And InDesign is going to be happy then to import from a large XML file into this smaller data set. So I'm going to place my cursor in the structure pane on the BK element, which is the top element in our structure. I'm going to go to File, Import XML. I'm going to find my Onyx file that I downloaded from Consonants. I'm going to make sure I select Apply XSLT and I'm going to choose a file that comes with this demo pack. I don't want to import contents of white, only, uh, white space only elements. In case any data is missing, I want InDesign to close up that gap. Uh, and now I'm good to go. So I'm going to hit OK and you can see that now we have not just one book element, but multiple, the same number as was in our, uh, our Onyx file. And if I zoom out in InDesign, you're going to see that we've got not just one page, but two pages now filled with data rather than placeholder text. Let's go to the preview view and that's starting to look really nice, but there's only two pages at the moment. And so we're going to use the InDesign autoflow capability to get that overflow icon there, click on that, hover our cursor in the first column of the next page, hold down shift for autoflow, click once, 
and then InDesign is going to flow all of the rest of that data into uh, pages, creating new pages as it goes. Um, we can see that we've got this sort of mirror effect going on and InDesign has handled that for us. Uh, and we've got some really good data here that's come straight out of, of consonants. Um, this has worked for these 15 titles. You can do this for a thousand titles in, in one go and that'll save you a whole lot of time. And now, of course, because we're in InDesign, you can insert the cover page, uh, any additional um, pages that you want to add in.